For me, home is not really about the place, but it's more of the feeling. I think for me, it's about taste and smell, you know, like freshly baked bread. That same smell hit me 20 years ago when I was walking home. And I followed the smell and it brought me to a little stall. This was my first encounter with the egg waffle, the perfect snack. Little tiny pockets, crispy on the outside, fluffy and chewy on the inside. And it really made me think of what my mom will do back home. It was so familiar, yet so foreign all at once. I think there is no one in Hong Kong that doesn't love a good bowl of wonton noodles. When arriving in Hong Kong, it was my staple food for my day off. And it's really something that hits the cord of uh, home. You can see the big pieces of shrimp meat being packed into the skin. Then the chewy noodles paired with a big fat wonton, all floating in the golden rich broth. It's so good. When you first walk into Mod 32 with the dim lights and going down the staircase, it was a little bit like walking in Alice in Wonderland. And then I saw the chefs busy uh, roasting their dog there, and uh, I was very anticipating on what will be served. The crispy, fatty skin wrapped in a soft pancake is one of my biggest guilty pleasures. The Chinese beef brisket is very different from the one I grew up with. Back home, it's simply boiled in vegetable and served with mustard and gherkins. But here, they bring in spices like black cardamom, star anise and so on. I wanted to bring these flavors into my creation for a perfect Eat Miss West sandwich. And this is how I created the beef brisket sandwich. Recently, the past few years, whenever I travel, if I stay away for too long, I start longing for Hong Kong food. I literally get homesick. I guess that's really what home is. It's a feeling. <laughs>